Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome to my Assassin's Creed Valhalla Combat and Player Build Tutorials. So today we're going to focus on combat tips and how you can trigger this stun attack as consistently as possible. Now this is very valuable for any Viking in the game because this is the only attack and animation in the game where you're protecting yourself, dealing major damage to the enemy and you are also healing yourself which is absolutely huge in this game because of the new health management gameplay mechanic. I guarantee you by the end of this tip videos I'm going to show you how you can parry as often as possible, what you're going to do in fights to stun and by the end you're going to be stunting, recovering health and destroying your enemies all across England. So, uh, make sure to also add me on a PlayStation Network. There is my gamer tag there, so we can discuss and play together. And if you enjoy these tutorials, you can also subscribe and like. Also, you can click on the card above or the link in the description below for more Valhalla tutorials that I've made all year long for my Valhalla video playlist. So, uh, first things first, uh, all of the gameplay you see are done in very hard and also master assassin difficulty. So if it works here, it will probably work across any other difficulty. So one thing you gotta understand with this game is that enemy attacks have large swing AOE. I'm attacking this guy from the back and he's attacking my raid teammate guy and he hits me because his attacks have such a large AOE even when he's not targeted at me he will hit me. So isolate your targets and lock on to them with L3 to avoid accidental AOE issues. If you don't do this well, if you don't isolate your targets and lock on to them, AOE death is very likely. You can see he's swinging at my teammate there and I get absolutely crushed by the AOE attack on very hard. So another approach also is to use bow to shoot the target's weak spots highlighted by the yellow area. Do that first before you engage in a fight so that if you hit the weak spot, they will be stunted. So that if they're stunted, they can't accidentally AOE you. And it's always better to start off with a heavy attack to minor stun the enemy. So always start off every fight going in with a heavy attack. You got AOE yourself and you can see both enemies are stunned so they can't get into their attacks. And once you're within melee range, aim to block to create large stun damage. That's what's going to get you the ability to trigger that stun attack animation. So it's all going to be about your L1 blocking and once you're within range, aim to do that. Obviously if the enemy shows you their back, you can hit them with a light attack. But majority of the time, if you see this yellow, it means attack by this enemy can be parried. So commit to blocking first once you finish your heavy attack and you're within close range. You see I was able to trigger that parry block there and there comes that stun attack animation. And I was actually able to block both enemies because I have AOE myself. So that's a double stun attack getting all my health back and finishing off two targets. So obviously the next progression then is how to best time your parries. Well actually spamming L1 works. So if you see the yellow comes up you can actually even get an light attack like I do here if you want to. But after that, you can just pretty much uh, tap L1 at a pretty quick pace. Kind of spam it. And then you can see I tap L1 here. He has an attack. So I tap L1 again. So that's like a tap tap. And then I get the parry. Up. So the tap tap timing for the parries, that's probably the best to trigger the stun attack. So don't just parry once. Parry early and then parry quickly again. Once you get that down, remember Get in a fight, start off with a heavy attack first every time. This is really important not just for parries because you can actually stun them so they can't do anything. And a lot of the time, if you get that uh, stomp ability or skill later, stomp skill, your initial heavy attack to start off a fight can knock down the enemy and break their shield. If they're down, now you can trigger the R3 stomp from that skill and the rest of the fight just flows much easier. Obviously, when you get into a situation like this, now you're parry, right? You're within melee range. Do not spam at it accident. You will get AOE to death by accident. So now we're in a one-on-one -on -one situation, focusing on that heavy attack. I stun him a little bit, so I get on the light attack. He's back to form, so he tries to hit me with the yellow, so now I'm parrying. I parry that first one. Now I'm just baiting for him to attack. I'm gonna lock onto him, parry him again. You want to use the shield to get the stun attack. You don't want to just spam axe attack because you don't get healed. This you get healed. And also if you have uh, multiple enemies in sight, you can just use the throwing axe often. When you see multiple enemies, you can see me do that here. Just using that throwing axe uh, ability that I got from the Book of Knowledge in Norway. So there you go. Another key aspect also I want to talk to you guys about combat tip wise is you got to manage your stamina bar. As you can see, that's a blue one. You'd want to avoid this red situation. Light attacks don't hurt your stamina unless you miss them. But heavy attacks, even if they connect or if you miss them, they will lower your stamina. And if you keep doing them, you would need to do light attacks to hit the enemies to replenish stamina. So light attacks replenish, 
heavy attack cost them. Tapping square to step dodge like this also uses a lot of stamina. And you can also hold square while pushing towards direction to do a roll dodge, which really takes down your stamina, but it's the most effective dodge in the game. Once you're out of stamina, you can still hit to regain it, but you can no longer dodge. So that's very important in terms of managing all this, all right? Make sure you keep that in mind. And the best combo in the game is the heavy, light attack, light attack, into a heavy. Now you're within range, then you parry. That's the best way to fight individual targets once you have isolated them, all right? So here's some uninterrupted gameplay. Nice example of all the combat tips I have just showed you. Once again, add me on PSN. I see Fyro 07. Uh, we can discuss the game, we can talk about Valhalla, or we can even play other games online together on PlayStation. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm just gonna let you watch it. And as always, thanks for coming by, and I'll speak to you guys again very soon.